Hi, this is Laurel here from Laurel's Originals, and um, I get a lot of letters, uh, people asking me uh, how to keep the canvas rugs from slipping. So um, I'm going to make you a little video here and show you some different options that um, I use and other and my clients have used um, with the canvas rugs. So uh, one thing that um, people like to use is this. Um, backing. Uh, a lot of people use this to put in their drawers and like in the kitchen or whatever, but it's thin. It it's, has holes in it, so it's, it has circulation and it's very thin, and, uh, but it's like rubber. So what I do um, is, let's see, let me get this adjusted. Okay, so um, I cut this to lay down in the back, but I don't cut it to the size of the rug. And uh, because this part of the rug, this part of the rug is double seamed, okay? It's double thickness here because it's folded over and sewn. So if we put this on top of that, it's gonna make the edges thicker. So I like to put it just on the inside, okay? So I've cut this on the inside because these were two small pieces that I had left over in the studio, I tape them together. And so the tape side is on the inside so that this part can, um, can, can help keep the rug from slipping. So let's flip it and see what happens. Okay, so here's the rug with the backing on it and now I'm just gonna move it around and it doesn't move. It really does help it to keep it from slipping. But what I would do is I would use this around the edges because this is going to help keep the edges from, where are we? Okay, keep the edges from scuffing. So if somebody's walking and they kick the corners, then, um, you know, th maybe the rug won't slide around, but it can do, it's, it's good for the, the edges of the rug. So what we do with this, this you can get this in the, in the U.S., okay, and it's wall mounting tabs. And it's this little putty that we use, and I use them on all of my rugs. To When I lay down the rugs, I don't use this, um, this backing, but um, a lot of people like to use the backing, and a lot of people like to use the backing because it gives you just a little bit of cushion, okay, which is nice if you have a rug in the kitchen. Um, okay, so what I do is I take this putty, and it's about the size of a little pea, and I put it just on the inside, and I put it about every six inches, five or six inches, okay? So it's just a little ball of putty, and you want to put it just on the inside because when you press it down, you don't want this blue to spill over the, uh, the edge, okay? So... Let's see, make sure I get a... Okay, so now I put it around the edge, and see, it doesn't stick to the rug, and it doesn't stick to the floor. But it does, when you press it down, it keeps this from scuffing, you see? So I like to use the two. Normally, I only use this. I don't use the backing, but a lot of people want this backing for a little bit of cushion or just to keep the rug from slipping around. But if you have this putty tack, it will not slip around. It will stay in place. If you have heavy furniture and you're putting um, a couch or a chair on top of it, then you wouldn't need to put the putty tack along the edge. But um, it's always good if you have corners exposed to use the putty tack. When I sell the canvas rugs, I provide you with a putty tack that you will need. And if you live in the U.S., then you can get the putty tack at a, at a Walmart or any, any kind of craft store. Okay, well, that's my little story about how to keep your canvas rugs from slipping. I hope it was helpful, and I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.